Hello, my name is Angelica and I have the honor of introducing one of my dearest friends, Victoria. She is honestly such an amazing person and considering I've known her for six years now, six, seven, basically seven. And I, she has grown tremendously as a person and I'm just, I'm really, really proud of her of everything that she's been able to accomplish. And I'm really thankful that I got to be her friend and that she is in my life because literally she is one of those people that her presence will just make you like, she will light up the room with her weird self, her weird funny self, and she'll just crack the randomest jokes. And even though, yeah, she is a bit awkward at times, I think that's one of the best things about her personally, personally, because she, she, she just, and she just, I don't get along with people. Okay, I do get along with people a lot of the times, but it is hard for me to be 100% myself, even if I've been friends with someone for a while. But with her, I am completely myself. We will have the weirdest Zoom calls at literally till like midnight or one, two in the morning, just about anything. We'll watch shows together. And even though we can't do it in person at times, it's still, a blast and she's literally one of those people that I know I can count on for literally anything and honestly I don't know what I would have done these last two years without her as my friend she's literally amazing and despite all the things that I've been through she has been there for me even though she didn't need to be and I'm really thankful for her for that and she's just amazing she's kind sometimes sometimes <laughs> just kidding she is literally charming as well she has a very charming personality she is hilarious literally i'm gonna miss all of our laughs and our in-person math classes and by the way on those zoom calls in the chat when she says that i don't answer her she's lying i do answer her okay don't don't listen to her she's just she's messing around she's being victoria okay anyways so, I would like to introduce the amazing, the charming, the spectacular, the brilliant, big-brained Victoria Aviles. Let's give a round of applause to her. She deserves it. I'm very proud of her. <laughs> Hi, my name is Victoria Aviles, and this is my senior speech. Welcome. Bienvenidos. Um, during my brainstorming for my senior speech, I caught myself reflecting over my rock essay from AP Lit. As a senior, Mr. Neal assigned us to read Sisyphus and his rock. Sisyphus was punished and tortured by pushing a rock up a hill just to have it roll back down again. He later accepts the punishment and continues on with his suffering. The prompt given to us was, what is your rock? Rock. When I first read the prompt, I, everything I've ever thought about left my head. I thought the assignment was going to be like any other, and I quickly gave up on it. But I found the prompt had dug itself under my skin and followed me out of the classroom, where I found myself researching and reading about the different interpretations of the story. Doing so gave me a sense of clarity, and I was able to come to my own conclusions on what rocks are. Thinking about what my rock may be is pointless. The idea of having one main thing identify you or be the cause or purpose of your life is futile. So many things and nothing at all is my rock. Your rock can change throughout your life. It can change shape, weight, size, and purpose. And all those changes happen with me. So, to make this easy, my rock is me. Like Sisyphus, I am stuck moving a rock. But, not like him, I don't think it's my destiny or purpose in life. It's pretty arrogant to think that one factor of your life is what determines your future or what, adds, what brings meaning to your life. I believe it influences you or it's a block you have placed for yourself that limits what you can do. I'm not saying this is how I feel about everyone, but it is the way I view my purpose and myself. The thing that interests me most about this prompt is reading what others think their rock is. Are they gonna be extremely similar, extremely different? I understand this speech is supposed to be about us and the message we wanna convey, but really, I'm curious about you. What is your rock? But then again, we should not be pushing pebbles into rocks so let me rephrase that. What is the thing that you let define you? Or what do you want to define yourself as? Or do you even want to define yourself as something? Any and all answers are valid and acceptable because there's no one to say that your rock is invalid. 
you have a choice in your life and what you want to make of it but it's up to you to decide when it's time to stop pushing that rock thank you